YouTube, what's good, man? We back with another video. I know y'all seen these Apple products, man. So I had to go do a review on them, see what's going on with them, what's new, and what all it is. So let's get straight to the video. I think they dropped a phone, Air Maxes, AirPods, and some other good stuff, man. Let's see what's going on. Got my guy. I'm back. No, Apple Guru. I'm back from Australia, know, all the way from you. down under. And uh, if you black and you don't know who this guy is, man, you need to know who this guy is, man. This is a, this is our Apple Guru, one of them at least. It's quite a few on the do Apple products, and uh, yeah, he wanted them. I did bring exactly everything, one souvenir with me, but I flew in this morning because Apple said they were going to announce some stuff, and they did. There was an event today. So here's my first impressions. So we got the iPhone 16 and 16 Pro today, along with new AirPods. Okay, first glance, they did have a pink. Well, we did see pink last year, but it did look a little different. We seen the And Apple Watch, and I've got some hands-on and some first impressions for you of all that stuff right here. So let's just start with the new phones. We knew this was coming, right? A very- Okay, new phone, got the, you know what I'm saying? Purple is colorway, indigo, I think. And then an up and down camera. They got some, the camera actually look bigger too. But that's about it. Very minor incremental overall update. But somehow yeah. Apple's still got to try to get people to buy it. So what will they do? So iPhone 16 looks very much like iPhone 15, but there's some new colors as you can pretty much always count on. This year it's ultramarine, which is kind of this indigo, pretty sick. Okay. Teal, indigo. pink, black. And so what's your favorite color? Out of the 16s, regular 16, what's y'all favorite colors, man? We got black, white, pink, that color, and that color. What y'all choosing? Y'all caught what y'all choosing? White. And the cameras, instead of being diagonally oriented, are now lined up again next to each other like it was back in the iPhone 10 days. But it's not just a retro touch. That's also so it can shoot spatial videos and pictures now, so the sensors are aligned with each other again. Okay, okay, but then okay. everything else, the rounded corners, the size of the regular phone and the plus phone, the speakers, the antenna lines, everything, just basically the same. Not much new going on here. Inside, they bumped it up from the A16 Bionic to a new A18. So new there's chip. some solid performance improvements in the 20 to 30% range, better ray tracing, and a two times faster neural engine and eight gigs of RAM for all that Apple intelligence stuff. Really the most underrated new hardware to me though that they talked about is Apple briefly mentioned that these new phones will all have larger batteries. And so that seems to imply that it will actually have better battery life. But also at no point did Apple ever say any numbers. Not a single number was uttered during the battery section, no graphs or anything like that. So we don't know exactly how much bigger this new battery actually is. And the only numbers we've been able to find is if you look on Apple's compare page for the phones, it said the iPhone 15 would get a battery life of 20 hours of video playback. And this new 16 gets 22. So... I'm going to be putting these through the paces. You already know if you want to get subscribed to be among the first to see the full review, that's when we'll be able to figure out if it's actually a significant improvement in battery in other ways. But as of right now, better battery, sure. And then I never thought I'd say this sentence again, but this new iPhone has two new buttons. So first of all, it gets the action button from last year's Pro. So now okay. you can do the exact same action. customized shortcuts from a flash. I mean, we've been listening to two minutes. We ain't seen nothing new but colors, to be honest, which what we seen new. This is Apple for you, man. They 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 done made a company that's so far that they can change hardly nothing and still sell like crazy. Light or Shazam to a Siri shortcut or whatever you want. And then there's also another new button called camera control. And okay, this second button, button, it's kind of it's a touch sensitive cutout covered in sapphire with a taptic engine behind it. Now it does actually move, it is an actual button, just to be clear, but just like the trackpad on a lot of modern laptops, the vibration motor clicks to also make a half press feel like you're clicking a two-stage button, like a camera shutter button. Hmm. And it is also very convincing. So the magic of this camera control area, is what they're calling it, is that it is pressure sensitive and it's basically a tiny trackpad on the corner of the phone. It's, it's capacitive sensitive, so you can swipe and do gestures along the corner of the phone. And so Apple's decided everything that this button will do will be camera related. So if you press it from the lock screen, it opens the camera app. And then when you're in, you can click it again to take a photo or long press to start taking a short video. Okay, so 
you heal. Boom. So you just pick up your phone. Boom. Kick the button on the side. Camera. Take a picture. It's kind of beneficial, though. Even though it's a button, like, right there on your lock screen that you can match. But I mean, I guess it's a little bit quicker. Small, but I guess useful. But then you can do a little half strength double tap to open up a menu for different camera options and then slide your finger along this camera control to change them. So, you know, it takes some getting used to. You gotta get used to the placement of your hand and how fast you swipe. But once you kind of know what you're doing, it feels pretty smooth and it's pretty sensitive and intuitive. So this is all a bunch of functionality that's being added basically into Apple's camera app. But Apple's also said that third party apps that use the camera We'll also be able to take advantage of the camera control. And so what y'all think about that small change? What y'all think about it? Is it cool? Will it be beneficial? Who knows? I guess we got to try and see, but... I don't know. So Snapchat, Instagram, Halide, etc. They'll be able to also use the slider. So I think it's pretty cool. I think it's technically very impressive. The Genesis G. I mean, I guess you could say it's pretty impressive for the most part. With cutting edge features... Like the I'm just trying to figure out, kind of similar to the action button, how useful it will actually be. Like, it is kind of in this awkward spot on the bottom right of the phone. It makes sense as a horizontal shutter button, but they're kind of splitting the difference, trying to also make it usable in a vertical orientation. I just, I'm curious how many people actually use this regularly, because again, it is on all the phones. But yeah, that's about it for the 16. I mean, the display also does now drop down to one nit minimum brightness, so that's... That's great at night. It is also still a 60 hertz display on an $800 flagship in 2024. So that's really disappointing for me personally, but overall this phone is, I'd say it's still pretty tempting to say that this base model is probably a better buy for most people over the pro phones, but let's just get into the pro phones, shall we? New colors this year. That was it. We just went through a whole phone updates, which was, Basically, minor. I ain't gonna say nothing. It was minor. Desert. Is you copying the iPhone 16? Let's see what the pro talking about. Titanium, which goes alongside the classic natural titanium and then a slightly darker black and a slightly whiter white. But otherwise, same design again, plus the new camera control. And the main updates with the pro are the oh, new. Oh man, let's go back and look at these colors. They got some cool colors. If I had to choose, I got the white phone, as you see. Right now, if I had to choose another phone, I'd probably go with the... Mm, I kind of like this color right here. Whatever color this is, probably like... I think this is the titanium. Pretty much how the pro go. Keep it, keep it calm, cool, calm, and collect. White or white. But otherwise, same design again, plus the new camera control. And the main updates with the pro are the new screens and the new chip. So the phones actually get slightly bigger this year. So the screen sizes are up to 6.3 inches on the pro and 6.9 inches on the Pro Max, thanks to the thinner bezels, which I didn't think I would notice, but I'm actually looking at them and they are a little noticeably thinner, so you can kind of tell. And inside there is also a new chip as well. It's the A18 Pro. So this is the new highest end chip in any iPhone. And this again should have performance boost and efficiency boost over last year's Pro phone, again in the 20 to 30% range. So CPU and GPU improving, better ray tracing, should still have the faster USB 3 speeds that the pros get. Uh, but again, the efficiency improvements have them saying that the Pro Max will now be the longest battery life ever in an iPhone. By how much? Some they always say, that ain't nothing new. I really know, but that, that's, that's good to see. But the camera is of course always the highlight of the Pro phones and there are three new cameras see what on the these camera pros about, versus last year. So a new 48 megapixel main camera, mm -hmm. then a higher resolution 48 megapixel ultrawide camera mm -hmm. from the 12 from last year. And then the smaller pro also gets a 5X telephoto now. So the smaller pro mm. used to have a 3X, but now both pros have matching all three cameras. It's also wireless charging a little bit faster, 25 watts. Nothing. So that'll get you 50% in 30 minutes of charging it. with the new MagSafe charger. Nothing too crazy. And also, 4K 120 FPS slow motion straight out of the cameras now. And that's that's pretty sick. Now, that's I'm sure the file cool. sizes will be nuts from the ProRes version of this, but it gives you really functional files that you can do a lot with. It also totally proves to me that they could handle processing enough to shoot 8K 30, but they're just choosing not to. Now, there was a whole lot of talk, a whole long section of the keynote 
where they constantly talked about Apple intelligence. And so we got AI coming to the iPhone. That's what Apple intelligence stands for. You ain't know AI. So is it coming? I mean, they have to because it's a really big deal for them. But the thing is, these phones will launch with iOS 18, mm -hmm. 18.0. And that means they will launch with no Apple intelligence features at all. Huh? You telling me I'm buying a brand new phone and y'all talking about y'all AI features and all this and they going to launch without the feature? So we're buying a new phone with hardly no updates. I don't even got the newest software that y'all seeing. Y'all got y'all. We got to wait to hold another update to get the update. Phone, <laughs> but he folks joke, man. No gen moji, no image playground, no writing tools, nothing. That shiny brand new iPhone 16 that you take out the box in September 2024 and start using in nah, a couple man. weeks will have the old Siri on it. Now they'll start to come out bit by bit with software updates. So 18.1 has the new Siri and a bunch of writing tools and some other stuff. But it's it's becoming harder and harder to pair that stuff directly to this new phone as a part of this upgrade. I mean, if you've watched my videos before, you know about one of the golden rules, which is to never buy something based on the promise of future software updates. So this feels like a big separation moment for the iPhone, at least to me, where each year of the new physical phone that you buy is just a small improvement. It's just a little bit faster chip a little bit better screen, it. slightly better cameras. Slightly. But on the other side is this rapidly improving ball of all this AI stuff that is not launching on the phone, but that is the totally separate, really big reason to get the phone. So yeah, it feels like I'm gonna need to review all of that stuff separately in its entirety when it does finally come out because it, it comes out so separately from the phone itself. The iPhone 16 is here. Man, is you copying an iPhone 16 or 16 Pro or not? Because they ain't talking about uh, nothing. Anyway, there were also some other Apple and I might still today, get aside it. Aside from just the iPhones. <laughs> and we got new AirPods okay. and new watches. So there were okay. lots of rumors okay. about this huge redesign well, we got. with the Apple Watch for the 10th year. But now that we actually see it, Apple Watch Series 10 is mostly That's it? slightly it's like new. like the same again. watch. This, I'm waiting on the watch to come up on the screen, and this the watch. Tell me what you see different. Somebody tell me. Instant. What you see different? Nothing. Now, okay, it is 10% thinner and 10% lighter. Mm -hmm. That's nice. And it has a slightly larger display again with thinner bezels and better viewing angles, hmm. plus a new S10 SIP inside. Hmm. That's it. Oh, and of course, you got to throw in some new colors as well. So the aluminum has silver or rose gold, or mm -hmm. this new jet black finish, which is a bit of a shiny throwback. Hmm. And then they've dropped stainless steel for titanium, which hmm. now comes in natural titanium, gold colored, or slate colored. Mm -hmm. So that's the redesign. <laughs> Again, it is pretty minor. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't want to downplay the amount of technical engineering mm -hmm. that goes mm -hmm. into achieving these got? things. Like, clearly, you still have to combine the metal back plate and the true reason to upgrade finish Series 10 watches. And then we also got a new Apple Watch Ultra 2. And by new Apple Watch Ultra 2, I mean a satin black finish of the existing Apple Watch Ultra 2. And I am Nothing so into color it. Change. I have absolutely no reason to get you. Watches. Oh, shoot. And then we also got of the existing Apple Watch Ultra 2. And I am so... And this how they get you. He already read to buy it just because of color change. The other one was like... I ain't like the color for real on the Ultra Watch, but this black with the... Hard. Into it. I have absolutely no real reason to upgrade, but this is just one of those things that companies sometimes do. They just make a matte black version of something that I totally don't need, but suddenly they have my shipping address and credit card info, and I just end up buying one. I'm told this is a pretty robust coding process, so hopefully it shouldn't chip or scratch too easily and then maybe show like light raw titanium underneath. But also it's an ultra watch, so I think someone's going to do it. But then there are also the new AirPods, the AirPods upgrades, or upgrades. One of them's, one of them's a fake upgrade. So the new base AirPods, AirPods 4, have been redesigned, and there's actually two versions. They do versions. look a little different, because I got AirPods right here. And they, they got a little different. They got a little square shape to them or something. So for that? 129, there's the new AirPods 4 with the new shape. And then for 179... There's the same new AirPods version, but you also get active noise cancellation, 
and a wireless charging case with a tiny speaker built in for Find My. So yeah, this new shape, it's a little different, so it may fit a little better in some people's ears, like mine. Like the old ones are terrible for me, but these are a little... I ain't gonna lie, I do kind of want to upgrade mine because I'm tired of carrying on a lightning cable, but I, I got the wireless charging case, so it ain't too bad. But just having a lightning cable with the headphones, you got to carry a whole nother cable that don't even go with nothing else. Better, but that also means they may be a little bit worse in some people's ears. But yeah, to get, I think, for under 200 bucks, active noise cancellation in AirPods with a four hour battery life, I think it'll be a nice little target demographic waiting for that. And then AirPods Pro 2, didn't really get a whole lot technically new here, but they also did get certified as a clinical grade hearing aid, which is pretty awesome. Plus some other hearing protection and testing features are added as well. But the biggest upgrade of the day, and by that I mean non-upgrade, <laughs> fake upgrade of the day, goes to AirPods Max. Now keep in mind, these headphones came out originally in 2020. Like we reviewed these a long time ago. These right. were $550 right. when they launched and they're still $550 in 2024, and they still have a lightning port, and they still don't have an on-off button, and they still have that dumb case that they came with. So they finally get this update, AirPods Pro 2. And the update is- We got some colors. Five new colors, and they have a USB-C port now. That's which, it. Okay. Man, yeah, he's hard they, though. I can't lie to do not have a pair, and I do want a pair, but. These folks ain't upgrade nothing, y'all. Get the gist, but these folks ain't changing nothing. They get you a little, some, change a little bit, sell it again. Literally had a lightning port in 2024, so we're happy to see that, but then that's it? Like, there's not a single other change to these new AirPods. They still don't have an on-off button in 2024. They still have that stupid case they came with. Like, they got the feedback. We know this case isn't good. They didn't improve that at all. They still have the H1 chip, even though all the other AirPods are on the H2 chip now. What? <laughs> Did the entire AirPods Max team go into a coma for four years and then wake up a week before this announcement and scramble to put this together? This is weird. The sad part is I'm probably still gonna upgrade to them anyway because I just, I can't carry a light. Yeah, man, so that's pretty much it. Y'all seen it and no really change. Comment down below what y'all gonna be copying this year. But y'all ready for the AI feature that's coming to the iPhone later this year? And yeah, that's pretty much the gist of what Apple got going on. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, comment down below what y'all what else y'all want us to react to. And uh booyaka, booyaka. Stay y'all.